welcome back to my channel Pritam's World. I am Pritam Janimitra. Today my topic is pollination. Flowers are the most attractive part of a plant. They produce fruits and seeds. New plants grow from seeds. This flowers are very important part which help in producing new plants. Parts of a flower. Flowers are different shape, size and color. Broadly, there are four parts of a flower. Calyx, Corolla, Androsium and Gynosium. Calyx. No. These poles, these parts are arranged in bowls or a circular pattern. Calyx. Calyx is the outermost bowl. It consists of small green leaf-like structures called sepals. They may be three or more in number. All sepals together are called calyx. They protect the flower in its birth stage. Corolla. The next bowl, corolla, consists of petals. All petals together are called corolla. They are the most prominent part of a flower. They are usually brightly colored and may produce scents to attract insects. Androsium. Androsium is the third bowl of a flower. It is a merely productive part of a flower. Androsium consists of a number of stamens. Each stamen has a thick, long stalk called filament and, uh, and anther at its tip. Anther produces powder-like particles called pollen grains. Pollen grains contain the mainly productive cells. They are very light so they can be carried away easily by wind water and insects. Gynosium. Gynosium is the innermost bowl of a flower. It is the female reproductive part of a flower. It consists of one or more pistils or carpels. Its carpel consists of stigma, style and ovary. Stigma is the knob-like structure at the tip of the pistil. Inside the ovary, a tip of pistil. It is sticky and resists the pollen grains. Style. Style is the tube-like structure which connects stigma to ovary. Ovary. Ovary is the solar portion at the base of the pistil. Inside the ovary, there are ovules. Ovules are small egg-like structures which contain the female reproductive cells. It is the ovary which develops into fruit and ovule which develops into seed. Bisexual and monosexual flowers. Bisexual flowers. Most flowers have both androsium, male reproductive part and gynosium, female reproductive part. Such flowers are called bisexual flowers. They are also called cuplet flowers. Example, mustard, pea and hibiscus. Monosexual flowers. Some flowers may have either male reproductive part or female reproductive part but not both. Such flowers are called monosexual flowers, also called unisexual or incomplete flowers. Example, watermelon, papaya and pumpkin. Pollination For a flower to form fruits and seeds, pollination is very essential. Pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of a flower. This transfer can take place with the help of when water are insects, these are called the agents of pollination. Types of pollination. Pollination is of two types. Cell pollination. In cell pollination, pollen grains are transferred from anther to stigma of the same flower or other flowers of the same plant. Cross pollination. When the pollen grains are transferred from anther to stigma of a flower or another plant of the same kind, it is called cross pollination. Process of pollination. Anther of flower produces pollen grains which contains male reproductive cells called gametes. These pollen grains may be carried by either wind, water or insect and may fall on the stigma of the same flower or another flower of the same kind. From stigma they reach ovary through the style. Inside the ovary, male and female gametes meet together and reproduction takes place. It travels in the formation of fruit from the ovary and seeds from the ovule on a flower. Friends, today we have discussed the four different 
parts of a flower, about bisexual and homosexual flowers and about pollination. Today I am ending my topic till here. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Very soon I will be back with my new